Hello children. Today I'm going to tell you a story about two children who with their intelligence saved their lives from an old wicked witch. Once upon a time there lived a brother and a sister. The boy's name was Hansel and his sister was Gretel. They lived with their father and stepmother in a tiny cottage at the edge of the forest. Hansel and Gretel's father was a woodcutter. He used to chop trees in the forest. He didn't earn much money from his work, so the family had very little to survive. Hansel and Gretel's stepmother did not like the children. She thought they ate too much and taking care of them was too much work. One night she complains to Hansel and Gretel's father. I am fed up with your children. There is very little food in our house and they eat too much. You need to leave them in the woods. I can't do that. They are my children. Of course you can. I will show you how. Tomorrow at dawn, take them into the forest and leave them there. Perhaps someone will find them and look after them. Hansel was still awake and he heard everything his stepmother had said. Later that night, Hansel snuggled out of his house and collected some shiny white pebbles that were sparkling in the dark. At dawn, the next day, Hansel and Gretel's stepmother called out to them. Your father and I are going to the forest to chop some wood. Your children are coming with us. Here is a loaf of bread in case you get hungry. As they walked into the forest, Hansel secretly dropped the pebbles. He had to mark the path. When they arrived deep in the forest, We are going to chop some wood. You two must wait here until we return. Yes, mother. The kids spend the whole day at the forest. As night approached, their father and mother had not returned. Hansel, I'm starting to get really scared. When are father and mother going to come back to take us home? I don't think they are going to come back, Gretel. But you don't worry, I'll get us home. The pebbles Hansel had dropped on the ground were sparkling in the dark. And the kids were able to follow them all the way back to their house. Their father was delighted to see them. Hansel, Gretel, thank goodness you are safe. I'm sorry. I will never leave you alone again. A few days later, Hansel and Gretel's father went to the town to repair his axe. And Hansel and Gretel were left alone in the house with their stepmother. Hmm. Now that their father is far away, this is the perfect time for me to get rid of those brats. The evil stepmother ordered the children out of the house. Come on you, we are going to have a picnic in the forest. Picnic? Now? Hansel didn't trust his stepmother. He secretly snatched a loaf of bread and hid it away. As they walked into the forest, Hansel dropped breadcrumbs on the ground behind him. Once they were deep inside the forest, their stepmother looked at them harshly 
and said you two wait here i will come back in a while the children waited but their stepmother did not return hansel let's go back home i'm scared don't worry gretel i have left the trail of bread crumbs must have eaten the bread crumbs how will we go home now hansel and gretel walked and walked through the forest hoping to find someone who could help after some time hansel and gretel came across a marvelous house it was made up of gingerbread and decorated with chocolates gum drops and bunch of other sweets look at that house hansel it's made of our favorite sweets hmm it looks so yummy i'm so hungry come on let's eat them an old woman <coughs> comes out of the house she smiled when she saw hansel and gretel You poor children. You must be very hungry. Come in. I'll give you some hot milk to drink. Hansel and Gretel went into the old woman's house where she fed them very nicely. Drink as much as you like, children. Don't feel shy. There's plenty. When Hansel and Gretel had finished, they told the old woman that they wanted to go home. <coughs> Thank you for feeding us. Can you tell us how can we go home? <laughs> home? Never. You two are staying here so that I can eat you up. Hansel and Gretel the old woman had trapped them by the time the children realized that the old woman was a witch who enjoyed eating children who had built a house of sweets to trap them it was too late the old witch grabbed hold of poor Hansel and locked him up in a cage You stay here boy until you become fat and stout enough for me to eat and you my dear work for me now go clean the house then cook a good meal for your brother every morning the witch checked hansel's finger to see whether he was growing fat as the witch had a very poor eyesight clever hansel used to show her a thin chicken bone instead till one day the angry witch said that's enough i am going to eat this boy today you little girl Put some more wood into the big oven. I like the children well cooked. What are we to do with what is inside the oven? What is inside the oven? You stupid girl. Well, let me see for myself. The half-blind witch went close to the oven. Quickly, Gretel, with all her strength, gave her a push that toppled the witch into the burning oven. Gretel find the key 
E and open the cage. The old witch is gone, Hansel. We can go home now. Hooray! We are safe now. The two children hugged each other and danced with joy. Now, to find our way back home, let us search this house. We may find something useful. I know, down in the basement there is a big trunk filled with diamonds and gold coins. <gasps> we will be able to buy plenty of food with this. The children filled their pockets with diamonds. They also got a map of the area. Come, let us go in the direction of the setting sun. Let us run. I wish to see our father's face when he'll see us and the wealth we carry. Meanwhile, their father was very sad. He thought that Hansel and Gretel were dead. After walking for a very long time, Hansel and Gretel finally found the way out of the forest. When they reached home, their father was very happy to see them. Hansel, Gretel, thank goodness you are safe. I am so happy to see you. I have kicked your stepmother out of the house. She will never bother us again. Hansel and Gretel showed their father the gold coins and the diamonds they had found. He was delighted. The three of them were never short of money again. And they all lived happily ever after. Thank you.